All right. Affiliation, we'll get started. All right. So hello, guys. Um, so I wanted to start. I've seen a couple episodes of the show, obviously, but I, I want you to introduce your characters for our readers. So if you were like taking your friend, the, your character to go hang out with your friends, like how would you describe you, this character to them? <laughs> um, I would describe Jack as observant possibly too trusting, um, intuitive, but also loving, committed, and also maybe a bit afraid. <laughs> um, I'd say Tom is, I feel like everyone knows a Tom. Everyone's got that one mate who's a little bit too into the things that he's into but everything he does and every awkward situ situation he gets himself into is done out of love. It's done out of care for the people around him. Um, and I think he's just a good guy that just wants to be around good people and stay safe and be happy. And I think there's a, there's a lot, to, lot to find in Tom. So both Jack and Tom obviously have, a, have really close relationships with Alex. So so tell me in your own words, could you describe your character's relationship with him? Uh, Tom and Alex are, are best mates. They're, they're best mates since early childhood. They've been hanging about, kicking around the streets of London for, for time. Um, it's just a beautiful, poor, a pure, male relationship which is so rare to see on tv and that's why i, I love it um it, it's just two boys trying to find their way around teenagehood um and finding it out together uh there's a lot of banter there's a lot of boys taking the mick out of each other um but there's a real deep love and trust between the two of them i think jack and alex's relationship is um First of all, it's quite professional. She likes to think of herself as a very, I'm good at my job <laughs> as um, the head of the house, sure. of the rider household. But then I think it turns into uh, like siblingship, but also she, Jack is raising him, but I think he's also raising her. She's trying to teach him the ways of the world, but also is learning so much from him because he has so much unearthed knowledge that she's just like, wow, she's in awe of him. He's amazing. So she's not going anywhere. So I'd love you both to tease your favorite scene from the show, like something, like a moment that you just cannot wait for people to see once the show is released. How to tease it. Uh, there's some water and there's some screaming. And it's one of my favorite scenes that I've ever seen in this show. I think it's great. And I'll leave it at that. You'll find it when you see it. Oh, okay. Um, there's joy and there's joy and pizza. <laughs> That's my favorite scene. So obviously this series is based on a popular book book series uh are, were you guys familiar with that at all did you pick it up afterwards tell me about your relationship with the source material and if that impacted your portrayal in any way I, i've been reading these books since i was about seven years old probably um there, there wasn't a kid in my class in primary school that wasn't reading these books uh it's just a staple of like british male upbringing is alex Ryder is one of the icons that you you look up to um, and it's, it's ridiculous to be attached to this in any way because of that, like intense, uh, childhood love for the, the source material. Um, so yeah, it definitely made me want to up my game when I turned up and I was like, right, we're going to try and immortalize these stories in a different way. Let's, let's do it right. Um, I read a lot and I kind of passed it on to my younger brother and I, when I got the audition through, I was like, oh, Yemi, what's Alice Ryder? And he lost it. He, was, he lost it. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I think this is a big deal. So through my younger brother, who is just incredible, I realized how loved and um, revered these characters are. 
So I was really excited when I got the part. <laughs> All right, so it looks like that's all I have time for today, but thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me, and I hope you have a lovely afternoon. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye, Megan.